Back. We start with criminal investigators who are now trying to track down a large group of teenagers who've been breaking into gun shops in the Denver metro area. So far, they've been caught on video at five locations. Investigative reporter Jeremy Hohola joins us now with some of that video and details on what they took, Jeremy. Yeah, these guys are doing some serious felonies here. Over the period of two days, investigators say a group of nine of them, teenagers, hit five gun shops from Denver to Centennial. Take a look at some of the video we've obtained from the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. Nine young men are seen on camera in hoodies, faces covered, some with backpacks. They hit five places on Sunday and Monday in the very early morning hours. This includes Centennial Gun Club and Bowers Tactical in Centennial and Bighorn Firearms in Denver, to name a few. At one gun shop in Centennial, the teens broke out a window, but they could not get in. Then at other places, they were able just to ransack the shelves there. They stole ammunition and parts of guns. However, investigators do not believe at this point they stole actual whole firearms. They're using different vehicles too, and investigators know one of the cars was stolen. So we want to catch these guys before they're able to do this again, and certainly before they're able to get any firearms, because that could potentially make for a very dangerous situation if that happens. And these are very young kids. I mean, we're talking teenagers. They're, they probably, we don't know for certain, but we believe they range in age from probably 14 or 15 to about 20 years old. And we believe that all nine of them are responsible for all five of these burglaries. Yeah, very young kids. These teens would likely face serious felony charges if they're caught. Police are asking you for help if you know of these kids. We have more details on 9news.com, including more photos. Tom and Kim, back to you. Well, this is one of those things, Jeremy. It's alarming on a lot of levels. As we've, we've had the, these stories of gun shops being robbed before. Are they required to have any extra security? Yeah, they are required by many regulations and they have to report what happens. So we'll see what's going to happen, you know, in the coming weeks or months if police are able to track these kids down. All right, Jeremy, thanks. Yeah.